are doing board game build back. We're each gonna have the same budget to design and build our very own board games, and then we're gonna test them at the end to see who did the best job. And for this one, we're only dropping once. I'll drop. When am I gonna get to switch budgets with Justin? You can switch on this one. It'll just be the same. Checkmate. Discover oh. check. And incidentally, mate. Checkmate. Checkmate. Come on. Oh! Hey, that's a decent budget, 200 bucks. That's not bad. For yeah. board game supplies, we can do good with that. I think so. I love board games, this is gonna be so fun. Before we go to the store, it's time to brainstorm just what we want to do for our board games. I have just the idea, to the whiteboard. Here is my idea. I wanna create something that is innovative, interactive, and competitive. So that's why I'm calling it the innovative, interactive, competitive concept. In order to do that, it needs to involve two to four players. It needs to involve sensory components, so something to do with your hands or a device that you're required to use. With. It needs to have mapped customization, giving creative freedom. Hey, you. Finally awake. Moving over here, we have my board idea. So I'm thinking with a race, if I have one board with movable pieces, it's pretty easy. Or I could have multiple boards with set pieces so you can combine the boards in different ways or put the pieces across the board in different ways. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? Now for my game piece ideas, we have a triangle, circle, or rectangle, or Something with wheels like a car or a train. I'm thinking sports. I like cards, dice, and boards. I've got it! If we want to make the best board games we can, we got to go to where board games are sold. We need inspiration. It's pretty simple. The goal is to run out of magnets first, okay? You can put them anywhere in the circle, but when you put them down, if they click together, that means you have to pick them back up. Again. So what happens there? I have to pick that up? Pick that up. No! Ooh. <laughs> what? There's no way those connected. Oh, that sucks. My last one. Ah, oh. you bested me at Magnet Rocks. Good game. <laughs> My board game is going to involve dice. And we have an amazing selection of dice here. So I'm going to get either two or four dice. So i got to find the best looking dice, which I like these big fellas, that's kind of fun. It'd be sick to get this giant case to like basically hold all of my game parts in, but this thing alone is 90 bucks. Remember, our budget's only 200. I think I want to utilize cards in some way, so I'm going to get this card holder and probably make my own cards. That's as far as I've gotten so far. What's your favorite board game? Oh, gosh, uh, Eldorado. Ooh, I like Eldorado. Eldorado. So I'm trying to think if I want to make it board game based off stuff that I like or one that's like, this should just be fun, no matter what. You know what I mean? Do you like simple games or a little more complex? So I'm thinking I want to utilize coins in mine. So I found these box of coins and she said I can have them for free because there are promos for the game. I don't know which game it is, but I just need the coins. It's now for my game. <laughs> Hobby Lobby, Craftsman's Paradise. We are here at Hobby Lobby because we need to actually get crafts because we're not just buying a board game and calling it ours. We're actually making it. Need supplies. Yep. How much money have you spent? I've spent like six dollars. <laughs> My plan is to be somewhat of a sports version of D&D. &D. So you're gonna be playing a game. In my case, it's gonna be soccer because that's the sport that I grew up playing. You're gonna get your little players on the pitch and whatever you roll is gonna dictate if you score, if you tackle, all that kind of stuff. I'm still working out the rules. But right now I need supplies to build the field. Cool. I'm looking for almost like a, a case or a box or something that I put all the parts in. You found what I needed? I found what I needed that you're holding. You found what I needed or... You found what I needed. And then I found it in your Me hand. Me holding what you needed. I found you holding what I needed. This one actually might be the perfect size. I don't want size. what you want. I'm making actually a cool map for my game. I know you guys still don't understand what game I'm making. Having these fake mini rocks is going to be very good. I found basically what I'm looking for. Look at this like storage bin. Put the playing mat here, the cards, the coins, everything in one bin. This is a phenomenal game board base. So I think I'm going to get some of these. This will help me put together my maps. Walking around Hobby Lobby, I feel superhuman creative right now. Every aisle is full of ideas and spawning new and better ways to play my board game. I'm about to explode with creativity. <laughs> There's probably some sort of effect that happened there. <clears throat> As I don't actually want this truck, but I do want the packaging. This is gonna make the perfect net for the goal. 
coins. So it's only seven bucks for this whole thing. Worth it, I guess? Yes. Good. Yeah, Rick is gonna love this truck. All right, we're at the Iron Lion. This is a trading card store. Comic book store. And comic books. But they got trading cards and that's what I need. Guys, this is what I was looking for. The soccer tops cards. And they're only $3 per pack, so that should be perfect. I know the most about the Premier League just because that's what I watch with my dad and my brother. So it'd be nice to at least have teams and players that I know the most about. As I'm buying four packs, which is $100, so I'm spending half my budget on these cards because that's kind of what's going to give this game like the dynamic, every match will be different because you're getting different players. It'll be, it'll be pretty cool. I'm not gonna say this to the judge, but I really want to play your game. Really? Yes. Heck yeah. We're back at the office, time to start designing these board games. Oh no. This is my game board? Oh, I thought this was way bigger. Here's my game board. Actually, Actually, just one of my game boards. I'm going to have two different variations to my game. I've got these blank cards, so I'm going to make a whole bunch of unique cards. I'll already tell you the title of my game. It's Must Have Snacks, the game. All rights reserved any attempt to copy or distribute this product. These need to go all the way in. Ah, oh, it's stuck now. It can't be normal. These will be uh, coins for my game. <laughs> These will be the starting coins. Every villager gets one. <laughs> ah, oh. How do you do that? Okay, what are you gonna do instead? Oh no. <laughs> Clearly something's wrong. Ah, now my case won't close. Ah, uh, my game's ruined. I give up. I know you guys are wondering just what exactly my game's gonna be about, and I just love keeping you guys in the dark because this is going to be incredible. Remember this plan earlier? I'm actually doing both ideas. So I'll have one board and I'll get to try them out. I'm gonna install my first board. It literally fits perfect. If it was any bigger, this box wouldn't work. It's the perfect fit. Oh. I am attaching my fake grass to this long board. It's gonna be actually a pretty big game. It might be the biggest one. <laughs> Guys, look at this satisfying cut. It's almost like ripping a skateboard. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, okay. Okay, tell me that wasn't probably one of the most satisfying things you've seen on this channel ever. Comment now. I think I finished my game box. So I got the playing mat, the cards going here, the coins, all stuff snacks, the game. I am hot gluing my game board together right now. Hot glue is clutch whenever you need just something to stick fast. Highly recommend. This paint pen, and I thought it would be the perfect thing to do the lines on the pitch, but it's not. I'm gonna just restart. I really want this to look good. I wanna put as much effort as I can into this. I have enough grass that I can kind of restart and then I'm just gonna have to use like actual paint and a paintbrush, so. A slight setback, but of no worries. I've been brainstorming some different variations. <laughs> <laughs> been brainstorming some different variations of the Must Have Snacks game. We got version one and version two. They're coming together, but unfortunately neither one is fully fleshed out yet. I'm not sure which direction to go or to keep working on. Or if there needs to be a V3. So right now I am placing my racetrack boundary line. Kind of looks like a, a maze right now, which it kind of is. And I have four different game pieces for the race. And I have a bunch of props I'm going to install as well, but it's actually pretty fun. All right, take two. This time I've got spades, painters, paints, paint. <laughs> This time I just got spaders. Mm. What the? This kind of got painter. Mm. <laughs> this time I have painters tape and spray paint. Hopefully this works a little better. Maybe I should just use normal paint because this is not going on there very well. All right, I finally got it to work. Um, this is definitely like the more difficult way, but there you go. Don't take the easiest way out every time. Spray paint would have been easier. Real paint, better. It's going on nice and thick, giving me an actual nice white line. I gotta make sure I'm really careful I don't spill any on the pitch. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to start again. I'm gonna have to let this dry. And then give me my tester lines, because obviously I still need to do a couple more. But I need this base out, outside layer, and then I can use that as a reference for the rest of my lines. After I've been creating my map for a while now, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make a second map. I'm focusing on making my only map the best map possible. I'm gonna see if the paint lines dried and how it looks. It's definitely dried. Ooh. A little leakage, I guess, where the tape wasn't put down fully. Turned out pretty good. I honestly was hoping it'd be just a little cleaner, but I cannot design the, the board. I made some more cards last night. Check these out. Whoa, what? Those are sick, actually. Oh, no. 
No way, guys. Scotch tape. Remember, these are just prototypes, so if the board isn't even or there's something off, don't get mad. This is where things are getting a little more <coughs> tricky. Making the keeper's box. Guys, I don't think I've ever put this much attention to detail into a build before. In my head, this game is so fun. It's gonna be super sick. I just want it to look perfect. And so I'm like even using a tape measure. Can you believe that? Putting the final touches Ooh. on my racetrack. This is coming along better than anticipated. Okay. I really need to get all the paint on so it can be dry by the end of the day. When you're painting cars, you do take it off while it's a little bit tacky. Yeah, it keeps it from like flaking off. That's what Rick says, that's what I do. Ooh, look at that middle line, baby. Woo -hoo! If I mess this up, I have to restart the whole thing. Maybe you should wait till it's dry now. That's what I'm saying, I really need to get all the paint done. Now this is gonna be very, very scary. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe you've done this. That is so maddening. It's actually not bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. Yeah, I can't be too much of a perfectionist with this build, even though I want it to be perfect. There are special zones where if you land your racer in the zone, you get to do something to your opponent. I think I'm done designing the game board. So now I'm gonna set it all up, run through it, see if the rules make sense. If there's anything that needs to change, which probably need to, I don't know though yet. It's important to beta test your games before the judge comes. I'm trying to complete these recipes. This is how much they cost to buy. So this one's 15 bucks for a pizza it gives you seven victory points. How many victory points you need to win? Don't know yet. You're going around the grocery store and you're collecting the different ingredients. If you roll a seven, all your ingredients have expired. You have to put them all back and you're going back to the start. But if you land in one of these green squares where you can sell your ingredients, that's how you get money to buy your recipes. So it's very important to sell your ingredients but then you also need ingredients to complete your recipes. So remember how I said my game can either involve the hands or sensory component? Well, I have both for my game. You can use your hand or you can use this device I got. I've tested it, I think it works. I haven't run into many issues yet and everything fits into my box here. Everything has their own compartments. We got the money, the cards, the dice, the characters, extra cards if need be, the price sheet, the game board. Also, I don't know why more companies don't make squishy game boards. This fits so easily in here. And when you roll the dice on it, oh, it sounds so nice. I'm gonna open up these cards, see who we got. And Andrew really wanted to help because he loves opening cards. Josh Brownhill. I'm a Liverpool fan, so I was hoping to get at least a couple of those guys. Townsend, these are some decent cards. Ooh, you got some specials in there, Isaac, in the back. I just get a Ooh, these. couple Arsenal guys. I got Jordan Henderson. I'm actually getting a couple good Liverpool players. Those are the ones I'm looking out for. I honestly don't know. Whoa! Harry Kane, he's your favorite. Harry Kane. He's not my favorite, but Tottenham is my dad's favorite team, so I'm gonna have to give him a high ranking for the game stats. Ooh, Marcus Rashford, Ashley Young. These are some pretty decent players. The most important thing is that I have enough guys in each position, because each team is gonna need one. I got some cool cards. I don't know every person in the Premier League, so there's a lot of these I don't actually know. Well, if you need help making up stats, I'm your guy. Perfect. We are all done with our board games, and it's time to introduce you to our judge, Alex the Editor who is going to be judging and determining which of our games is the ultimate board game. I love this kind of thing. First up, <laughs> first up is Isaac, take it away. My game is called The Pitch. It is a clean, aesthetic, simple, turn-based sports card game with a sweet game board. It's a very immersive set, we've got the whole pitch here. Got all the little guys standing around waiting to watch. So before we put our teams down, what are your first impressions? I think I like the board a lot. Looks like you spent some time. I like the spectators here. Little details go a long way with me. I like that you made soccer into the ultimate board game because I am bored when I watch it. But uh, he's already explained the, uh, <laughs> he's already explained the rules to me. Uh, he's probably gonna have to walk me through it as we go, but I'm excited. I'm gonna have to, to walk myself happen. through it as we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm choosing my players at random. All right, we need two forwards. Ooh, got a guy in Liverpool, that's good. Chris Wood and Sadio Mane. Okay, those are your two forwards. They're my favorites. Okay, <laughs> do I put my cards on the... On the yes, yeah, so you put them facing me, so I'll put my guy here. These are my two defenders. Start off, whoever rolls highest can start with the ball. Six. Tethered and my rage knows no back. This is the passing dice. Okay. 12. So now you're tackling me with him? Yeah. So you roll this one and then you want it to do a hard one? Yeah. So you roll the eight-sided dice. How do I know if I get a red card or not? Well, if my if yours is lower than mine, I would. 
That's a failed automatic slide. red card. That, it's a failed slide tackle. Well, okay. you're getting automatic red card because you're going for the hardest tackle. Oh, so no matter what, I get a red card for hard tackling. Not if not if you win. Then it'll oh, be a okay. successful tackle. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. I'm just going to tackle you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for a, a light slide tackle. Sergeant. Now I'm going to pass up to uh, pass up to Mason Mount again. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, I didn't do nothing. Wow. Does that mean he get a yellow card? Yeah. Oh yeah, yellow card. I don't take. know what that means. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna full send the shot from outside the box. Ooh, Ooh big one, 15. Six. Since I'm shooting from outside the box, you get to roll a six. So you have a higher chance of saving since I'm shooting from so far away. Six. Yeah! Oh, oh, no! I actually, I see the vision on this one. I see the vision. I think if I was an English lad such as yourself and I was just, I don't know, milling about primary school, I might, <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to have a lot of fun with this with my friends. I also think that like this is the board you used, but you could make a version of this board that's a lot more like smaller and has more portability and that might make it easy to play anywhere. And so I actually think a lot of people might have a lot of fun with this. It does have the potential to go on really, really long, but yeah. this game didn't really. Like you said, it, it kind of is supposed to go on long because football games go along, like passing back and forth. It's also slightly like D&D, &D, but with soccer. And so, you know, if you like sitting down playing a long board game, then yeah. this is for you. Yeah. All right, Alex, here's my board game. It comes in this handy dandy box, very portable. Ah. Oh boy. Do you like snacks? I do like snacks. Perfect. This is the game for us. Okay. Look at this game board. Oh my gosh. That is, there's a lot going on it's there. It's really not that complicated. So the goal is to get as many victory points as you can by completing recipes. So these are what the recipes look like. Okay. So you need the ingredients to complete the recipes. Okay. Through the grocery store. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for it. Do I get to choose a piece? Yep, pick your character. I'm choosing french fries. I am gonna be hamburger. And actually, they start on the starting line. It said start, and the arrows are right there, so. That's Confusing, that's not good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All of the ingredients just kind of laid out here. So we've got the milk, or the dairy mean, the fruit, the grains. How long did it take you to print off all these uh, different cards? That so. took a while. Dice, we have the coins here. Coins are important. Basically how it works is you're gonna make your way down through the grocery store rolling dice and moving along the board. You can sell back your ingredients if you land on one of the green spaces, that's how you get the money. You gotta use the money to buy your recipes. And if you roll a seven while you're in the grocery store, all your ingredients have expired, you put them back and you go back to the start. Oh, give her a roll. Roll both? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Lemon. Okay. So you're one, two, it's like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Plus three grain. Wow, big time. There you are. Nice. All right, I think. Ah. Ooh. All right, condiment for me. All right, your turn. All of seven. seven. Yikes. Right, that sucks. Your bread expired extremely fast. That's... You're back to the start. What kind of grocery store is this? <laughs> well, my <laughs> mustard expired quick. <laughs> You're <laughs> <turn. laughs> Okay, 10. Now, see, if you had something to sell, you could sell it, but since you don't have any ingredients yet, it didn't really work out for you. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Oh. Nine. So I should be right here. Right? Great. Oh, that's, oh, that's a con three condiments. And again, I keep landing on the money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> this whole time, I've only been on money stuff, so I haven't gotten any ingredients. One eternity later. At what point do I have enough money to buy a personal chef to just make this for me? Uh, I don't see it on the price sheet, but that could be an expansion. Yeah, we should expand it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we had some like grocery store music playing, that would really enhance the vibes too, you know? That's true. Oh, oh yeah, no, sorry, I'll do it. I'll add it in. <laughs> I'll add it in right now. So all these recipes have victory points. So once you get 18 victory points, you win the game. How long do you foresee that taking? 
Uh, it depends on the players, around uh, 30 minutes for two player, maybe around 45 minutes for a three player game and just kind of adds from there. Okay. The board is not very fun looking. It kind of looks like a uh, like a breakdown of a tax sheet or something. I don't know why this would come to mind. <laughs> I uh, could use some more color. I uh, could use some graphics, maybe. Keep in mind, this is just a prototype. Right. To make sure the game works. Well, yeah, the game works. All right, Alex. This is Nux, an interactive race game. It's fun for the whole family. My favorite type of games are the simple games that don't require much thinking, but you also get to use your hands and there's a lot of variety. So it's as simple as any race game. But my game comes with four different types of racers. These are your racers. So we are going and taking turns to see who can get to the finish line. So we got marble, these glass, different shapes, little soft guys, or these things. My favorite is the marble. So we'll say that seems much faster than all the other options. We'll do that first. It's called Nux because you use your knuckles to hit the marble around the, the course. Or if you got the expansion pack, you use these little hitters and you can use them to- What are these? Uh, they're just paint brushes that I cut oh. the tip off. Oh, okay. Another variety of the game is I have these dice that go up to four. So we each will roll every time. That means you get to flick it four times. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You choose to use this or not. You can just take turns doing one hit at a time, but I thought this will add good variety and change. And one little bonus, if your marble lands in these, that is the Nux Zone. Mm. And if you're a fan of the channel, since you edit all the videos, you know exactly what that means. Oh no. <laughs> to knock your opponent. Oh no. That is scary. I have knucked someone, but I have never been knucked. Any initial thoughts? Before we play. I like it. I like it. A lot of time went into the creation, the gluing of the pieces, uh, a lot of details, which, which goes a long way with me. Are these walls, is it uh, against the rules to accidentally go over them? Yes. So if you flick it too hard, you don't want to go over the walls. Do you get yeah. knucked if you, if you go over the that wall? That is a great rule that I didn't think about. I like that rule. Yeah. So. You might be unconscious by the end of this game, but. Yeah. <laughs> So you'll see just throughout, we have different kind of levels, a lot more obstacles at certain points. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna roll, see how many nuts I get. One, all right, that's not what I wanted, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, you guys. <laughs> Three. <laughs> well, that was worse than mine. So. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh. oh! It takes actually skill to play this game. It's right. so not just full chance. Two more. I want to knock him. Oh, it's close to the knock zone. Oh gosh! It has to stop aiming. Oh, you're really wasting your roll to do this? Yes. <sighs> no! Oh. <laughs> yes! <sighs> yes! Oh, <laughs> brutal. It could change at any time. No! No! Oh, yes! Dang it! Ah! <laughs> Final. Oh, I need a four. Four, oh, finally. Oh, it's in a little crater. That actually might help me. Oh, nice. Okay. Two. Dang it. Three. I have to, I have to send it, you guys. The chip shot. Oh! oh. <laughs> what happened? I'll spare you. He'll That's spare me. <laughs> we want to see the nuts. Do the nuts. They're here for the nuts. Yeah. Give the people what they want. Yeah! <laughs> Three. Boy. Yeah. Oh. Now that was a two player game, but if we wanted, we could play four players. Two teams. Which makes it even more intense. Well guys, I need to make my decision. All right guys, I've made my decision. But first, I wanna say, I learned a lot about myself from these games. 
without you two, and I'm really hopeful that our friendship will only grow from this time on as a result of the fun we had playing these games. I that, couldn't have said that's it That's what games are all about, right? That's what it's all about. Thank you for those. That being said, two of these games did suck, and one of them was good. Only one? Only one. I the winner is... Justin. Listen, it's not about who wins or loses yeah, it is. in a game, <laughs> depending on what type of player you are. It's about the, the fun you have with the friends around you, so. Oh, I think we all won. But you did. Okay. Only a winner. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and make sure you've hit the subscribe button. We upload every week. We'll see you on the next episode.